Getting hurt by your ex is not as bad as you think it is. Matter of fact, it's the greatest superpower that you have. Stay tuned. It used to be a time that fairy tales were true. The king and the queen and all the pills were blue. But then the pill changed, the red pills the true. Forget the married life, I got better things to do. Stack money. Travel Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade, the link is in the description. All right, today I'm gonna be talking about why getting hurt by your ex is not a total loss in life. A lot of guys think that just because you got played by a woman that you're a loser or that something's wrong with you or that the relationship was bad. The relationship is not bad. And the reason why the relationship is not bad is because everybody is going to get hurt in relationships. What matters is what you learn from the relationship, how you get over the relationship and what you do going forward with other relationships that you're in. So today I'm gonna to be breaking down why the relationship that you had with your ex was not a bad relationship, but it was better as a learning lesson of life. Let's do it. First, when you first met her, you didn't have any standards. Every man don't have standards when they first meet the girl that's going to hurt them. All you know is you like her, she looks good, she turns you on, and you wanted to be with her. You wanted to be to everything. You wanted to give her the world. You didn't have any standards. So when you got hurt from her, what you did was you sit back and you look at what you did wrong, what she did wrong, but in order for you to get better so you don't hurt again, you have standards for yourself. See, going into relationships blind, it's all done with emotion. But the more relationships you get in, the older you get, the more it's not about about love it's all about just having someone that you like and comfortable around you that respects you so with you going into the relationship just based off your emotions and based off your heart you had your guard down because you were allowing your emotions and pretty much your desirement for her to rule how you treated her but when you got hurt your senses went up for all the other women that you were gonna date after her and it forced you to have standards Next, you hit rock bottom. All right, what do I mean by you hit rock bottom? I mean by you got to the lowest point of your life because that's what it feels like. It's like a drug addict. Whenever they stop doing drugs and they have to um, t t re they have to go to rehab and get it out of them so they get better. That's exactly what happened to you. You emotionally hit rock bottom. When you emotionally hit rock bottom and you don't take yourself out of the game, you become stronger. Remember, pain. Pain is only weakness leaving the body. And that's what you guys have faced with your ex-girlfriends. You faced a lot of pain, but the more pain that you went through, the stronger you became. Next, you learn your boundaries. What do I mean by you learn your boundaries? You know what you can and cannot handle in a relationship. And if something happens in a relationship and you know you can't handle it, then you're quick to bail out of the relationship. All right. You need to get hurt by women in order to develop these boundaries of what you can and cannot handle from a person. I told you guys before, love is nothing but you accepting the negative traits of somebody else. That's all it is. It works on both ends, women and men. Love is just you telling somebody, you know what? You can treat me any way you want to. And no matter what, I'm still going to want to be with you. I'm still going to want to care for you. I'm still going to treat you as if you did not treat me bad. But when you start setting those boundaries, you start to love less and you start to think more logically of who you really want to be with. Next, you boost your confidence. How does this boost your confidence? Because it forces you to gain knowledge. All right. How do you gain knowledge? Because you're wondering why the nice guy did not work. That's why you're here on my channel. That's why you're on everybody else's channel. The more you learn about women, the more confident you're going to be. And I'm gonna say this again and I always say it. Knowledge is only, I mean, a smart person is only somebody that got to the knowledge before a dumb person does. You could be smart at certain stuff and you could be dumb at other things. So you gain confidence confidence by getting hurt and then you come to the internet learn what you did wrong and then you're confident at dating the next person next fear is your advantage what do i mean by fear is your advantage 
you become sensitive to being hurt by other people. So now you're forced to take, you're forced to pay attention and analyze everything that was going on differently than what it does before. So now with you being scared of being hurt again because of the girl that did hurt you, now your senses are up even higher. That's your advantage. The advantage is I do not want to be hurt no more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move slower this time. I'm going to watch this out of her this time. I'm going to talk to her like this out of this time. It may feel like a game to you, but guess what? She enjoys the game. The guy that gets all the women and the women to fall in love with that guy is always the guy that has the best game. And that's what you did. You learned the game that's going to work for you. The thing is though, when it comes to a woman, women never have the time to develop the game because all they have to do is look cute and allow a man's desires to try to come and get them. But as you get better and you have the advantage because you don't want to get hurt, that's when you make better decisions. Next, you learn what you want. All right, this is probably the best thing in the world. A lot of you guys out here, y'all want supermodels. Y'all want pretty girls. You want the girl with the big booty. You want the girl with the big titties. You want the girl that all the guys want. But you start to notice, this is not gonna be the right girl for you. And as you get older, you will notice she's not gonna be the right girl for anybody. Even if she marries a rich man, he's never home. And a lot of these rich guys that have pretty wives at home, they have other girlfriends. because these pretty wives they grow old faster they got to get plastic surgery faster their attitude sucks so either way you're going to notice the dime piece that you thought you needed really didn't do anything for you in your life but aggravate you so now this time around it's an entire different ball game because you may not need the most beautiful girl in the world you may just need a woman that be submissive to you and then you take her and make her as pretty as you want her to be so you're pretty much going to mold her for you to be the the perfect woman for you next you start understanding the single life better what do I mean you start understanding that the single life is the best life to live until a woman is able to conform to you a lot of you guys look at single people and be like they're gonna die alone or they're gonna do this no it's not gonna work like that most people that just want to be in a relationship are people that have not been hurt yet so a lot of these guys that are like yeah I just want to be married I want to do this I want to do that they ain't been hurt yet so what they do is they're gonna find themselves getting married at an earlier age and when they're getting married at an earlier age they're gonna go through more problems and when they go through these problems at an early age it's gonna mess them up later in life but a lot of you guys who did not get married and you were single for a long period of time now you're in your 30s appreciating it because you have more money in your pocket and you have less stress on your brain look at the average person that marries in their 20s and look at what they look like in their 30s this is Anthony Spade hopefully you guys are able to to get the message behind the video comment like subscribe to both of my channels i'm still on vacation so it's no days off hasta la vista